Thompson wins it in overtime. Brady can jump, breakaway shoots, scores! Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon and I am your host. The news we've been waiting for for nearly a year is finally here as Michael Anlauer is officially set to become the next owner of your Ottawa Senators. As it reported last Friday, it was expected within the next few days, it's been a few days by the way, that Michael Anlauer would officially be announced as the next owner of the Ottawa Senators. By the way, shout out to Lelims Martian a couple months ago, was the first to report this news. Shout out to him. He was ahead of the curve against all the insiders, so shout out to Lelims Martian. But once again, Michael Anlauer is set to become the next owner of your Ottawa Senators, and this is great news. We'll get to that in a minute, but let's talk about the sale first. Let's take a look at this. Michael Anlauer has reportedly spent 950 million US dollars to purchase the Ottawa Senators. By the way, if you calculate that or convert that to Canadian dollars, that's over 1 billion Canadian dollars. Absolutely mind-blowing things here in Ottawa right now. By the way, this sale will be the largest NHL franchise sale ever. It's a record. The previous was held by Billy Haslam and the Nashville Predators, which were sold for 880 million US dollars. Now, nothing's officially official until the NHL Board of Governors approves the franchise sale, but that's expected to be a formality. And I shouldn't even say expected. That is a formality. Michael Anlauer, one of his biggest, you know, attractions is the fact that he's experienced and he has, you know, been on the Board of Governors and, you know, has good ties with the Executive Committee in the NHL because he's represented the Montreal Canadiens at these Board of Governor meetings in the past. So, to say it's a formality... It's an understatement. This is a no doubt about it kind of thing. He will be the next owner of the Ottawa Sanders. Just he's not going to officially take the reins of the franchise until this formality is done. But look, this is a great day for the city of Ottawa and for the Ottawa Senator franchise. This potentially has the makings to be the most stable ownership group or owner in Ottawa Senator history. Michael Anlauer has very, very deep pockets, billions of dollars worth of financing available now for the Ottawa Senators. Now look, we don't know what the debt's going to look like. It's been reported nearly $500 million in debt is attached to the franchise. We don't know what's going to happen with the capital gains tax, which reportedly the Melnick uh, you know, estate was trying to put the bidders, uh, make the bidders, pardon me, pay for the capital gains tax, which of course is absurd. We don't really know much about those details right now. I assume in the next couple of weeks when everything is finalized, we'll hear a lot more about that. But regardless, even with $450 million in debt, I'm sure the Melanick estate will have to cover some of that. Michael Anlauer has the deep pockets to properly not only manage this team and run this team, but also make it a successful NHL franchise to bring a Stanley Cup to the city of Ottawa. He has billions of dollars of financing and revenue available, potentially. He has a couple of companies, including a healthcare company. So he has a lot of money at his disposal. So it's safe to say that in terms of stable ownership, he has the experience, like I just mentioned, with the Montreal Canadiens, represented them at the Board of Governors meeting and everything. But as well, stability in terms of deep pockets. He has the financing capable to not only, you know, operate the Ottawa Senator franchise, but do so at much more than a bare bones type of way instead of just, you know, keeping the franchise afloat. He could potentially make the franchise a successful one because he has the financing available to do that. But more importantly, in his statement, he mentioned he wants to connect and learn a lot about the fan base and the community. And I think that distinction is important. The fan base is not just the community. The community is the city of Ottawa. And in the previous ownership group, you know, under Eugene Melnick, the city and the fan base had a very tumultuous, we'll call it, you know, relationship with the organization. So Michael Anlauer in his first statement to the fan base and the city and the NHL saying that he wants to make amends and work and connect and learn with the fan base and the community is huge because they're two different things. The city of Ottawa is one thing and the Sens fan base is another. The fact he's committed to re-amending uh, the broken ties between both with this organization is a huge, and I mean a huge, sign for what's to come. Because once again, like I just mentioned, under Eugene Melnick, the fan base felt disrespected, they felt unwanted, and they felt unloved. And the community, I mean, it just just look at the fact that the Sense Foundation split from the organization under Eugene Melnick. The fan base, that tie needs to be amended for sure. But the city itself, the community here in Ottawa and the organization, that is a broken tie that really needs to be brought back together. Because they've made some, you know, efforts over the last year. But I mean, boy, oh boy, Michael Anlauer has a big, and I mean a big job ahead of him, not only in terms of the people here and the community, but as well the business community as well. So uh, Michael Anlauer specifically saying that that's a big goal of his is a great sign because the city of Ottawa is a big city, 
But of course, it feels like a small town. Everyone knows everyone. We, everyone hears things. Um, so this kind of thing is really important. So Michael Anlauer, like I said already, pointing that out specifically from the get-go in this opening statement is great. And once again, I cannot say it enough. This city used to love this franchise and having an owner that loves this city back would be huge for Ottawa. But as well, look, he has a commitment to the city. Obviously, he's going to keep the Ottawa Sanders in Ottawa. But will he move the Ottawa Sanders to downtown Ottawa? This seems like a very likely scenario. Uh, it's not been confirmed. Bruce Garriock in his report today said that, you know, look, Michael Anlauer wants to move the Ottawa Sanders to downtown, but not necessarily at Le Breton Flats. This could all be, you know, negotiation tactics. There's not a lot of land at Le Breton, to be fair, right now that's been made available by the NCC, just over seven acres, I believe. It's not much land. Uh, so it makes sense that Anlauer is looking at other options, but it's great to see that, one, he's committed to the city, of course, with the fan base and community, but more importantly, keeping them in Ottawa. But two, and this is really important, he's committed to potentially moving the Ottawa Senators downtown, which could, of course, create more revenue. But as well, you know, Gatineau is right there, right? Downtown Ottawa, there's hundreds of thousands of people here. People from Canada and Orleans can also drive. You just offer way more of a access point for way more people by moving the Ottawa Senators downtown. And more importantly, you guys, you deserve this. As I kind of touched on a couple minutes ago, the fan base over the last four, five, six years has gone through hell frankly. The Ottawa Sanders have been the butt of every single joke in the NHL up to this point, and hopefully it stops here. And I frankly should have stopped a while ago. A lot of other NHL franchises are complete jokes, if I'm being honest with you. But look, Ottawa literally was the butt of every joke in the NHL for nearly the last half decade or so. It's been a really tough time for Sens fans in terms of, well, the Ottawa Sanders move. Why is everyone being traded? Does the franchise truly care about its fan base? The list goes on. So the fact that we have an opportunity right now to have a new fresh era with a young exciting core here in Ottawa with a deep pocketed owner that's committed to the city is passionate and wants to bring a Stanley Cup to the city of Ottawa is what you the city of Ottawa and the Senator fan base deserve you truly deserve this I mean if you stuck around through those tough years in 2018 2019 then you deserve every moment of this you deserve a Stanley Cup in Ottawa more importantly but you of course deserve stable ownership and I truly think that Michael Anlauer can bring that to the city of Ottawa now look, the Melnick daughters will retain 10% equity of the franchise. So 90% of the franchise will be sold to Michael Anlauer, 10% to the Melnick daughters uh, and the Melnick estate, which, you know, whether you like that or not, I think it's fair. I think it's okay. Um, I understand the Melnick daughters and the Melnick estate wanting to retain a bit of equity in the franchise as a legacy stake. It's a bit larger than many people expected, but nonetheless, 90% of the ownership goes to Michael Anlauer and the Melnick daughters remain at 10% in ownership now speaking of 10 percent michael anlauer currently owns 10 percent of the montreal canadians as i touched on earlier in this video but andre desmarais the president of the power corporation of canada is set to purchase his 10 percent equity of the montreal canadians to allow the sale of the ottawa sanders and the transaction to go through so i wouldn't be worried about that i would expect that ball to drop within the next week or so um, as well as been reported from Bruce Garriock, Wayne Scanlon, and Darren Drager. As part of the Anlauer bid, there's reportedly 15 to 20 or so local groups involved, including Jeff York of Farm Boy, Yorkville Asset Management, Maholtra Family of Claridge Homes, and countless others. We should see within the next week or so more names be dropped from Bruce Garriock, Ian Mendez, Wayne Scanlon. The list goes on. The insiders will have it, of course. But I have been told personally from a source, Roger Greenberg of Minto Group, the executive chairman of Minto Group, will not will not be involved in the consortium of the local groups and is focused on Lansdowne 2. This makes sense due to his connection with OSEG. Um, but once again, I am a little shocked. Roger Greenberg in the past has expressed interest in potentially not only owning the Ottawa Sanders and purchasing them, but being a part of a group as well. So uh, a bit of a shock there. Um, but once again, there's 10 or so other local community elements involved in the ownership group, which is great. You want to have a local feel to the city and the organization. So I think having local investors involved in this is fantastic. I hope potentially Michael Anlauer can even bring in that First Nations group uh, that the Nico Sparks group brought in. I think that would be a great add as well to bring more local elements to this bid. But once again, I am a little shocked that Roger Greenberg is not involved, but he's not. That's what I've been told. Now, the last thing I want to cover real quick is just staffing rumors. We've already seen speculation fly about who the next GM will be, coaching, etc. Let me say this. According to Steve Dangle, Steve Steyus of the OHL's Hamilton Bulldogs is likely to be brought in to Ottawa in an unspecified capacity. We don't know if that will be assistant GM, 
GM, president of hockey operations, we shall see. But it is expected that Steve Steos, a very highly touted hockey mind, will be brought into the Ottawa Center organization, which is a great thing, specifically because Ottawa's management group is very, very thin. Now, I will say I don't want Pierre Dorian to be fired. I want bonus to stay, but I do think we need to add to this management group. So bringing in Steve Steos, very, very okay with that. He's a very highly coveted, you know, management guy. And I think he'd be a great ad for the Ottawa Sanders. Patrick Waswell resigned today from the Quebec Ramparts of the QMJHL. This has been expected for quite some time, according to Tony Ferrari on Twitter. So I wouldn't, you know, equate the two. But there's been a lot of speculation and there's a very good chance that Patrick Waugh could be the next coach of the Ottawa Sanders. We'll let you know when that happens or if it happens. Now, I've also reported during this process that Peter Chiarelli has been involved in this bid as a consultant. It's unclear if he will be part of the organization now that the franchise belongs to Michael Anlauer. Once again, he is under contract with the St. Louis Blues. Uh, so we will see what happens with that. I have seen no confirmation that Peter Chiarelli will be involved with the organization in hockey operations. But I do know that he was involved as a consultant probably in terms of the market and stuff like that with Michael Anlauer. Now, besides that, let me know what you think in the comment section down below as this process is finally over as the Ottawa Sanders have a new owner. It's Michael Anlauer. So to Michael, welcome to Ottawa. We're fired up to have you and we're excited for what the future brings. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all soon. Go, Sens, go.